Has the time come to stop testing potential employees for marijuana? Recreational pot use is becoming more common around the country, and unemployment rates are already making it tough to find qualified workers. 10 News reporter Eric Glasser takes a look at the issue that an increasing number of employers are having to deal with, and that includes right here in Tampa Bay. If your potential employer requires a drug screening, these are the sorts of places you would probably go. But with the unemployment rate in the U.S. now hovering around 4%, more and more potential bosses out there are considering whether to exclude marijuana from those tests. Wasn't long ago, Shandora Davis tried to get a relative of hers a job where she works in Tampa. Good guy, hard worker, but it didn't pan out. My cousin was like, oh, I couldn't get this job because I smoked and I felt my drug test. Advocates for legalizing marijuana say removing it from drug tests just makes sense. In Florida, the unemployment rate is around 3.7 percent. Bosses need workers. People who occasionally smoke pot need the jobs. But the tests exclude them. They just want a fair chance, and I think they should evaluate their performance and whether or not they deserve a, a position based on their job history, their work ethic, and how they perform at their job. At the workforce office in Tampa, it didn't take long to find folks who know folks who've been affected. I know a lot of people that they're like, oh no, I'm not going to get the job because I smoked. But there were still mixed opinions about whether smoking pot affects workplace performance. Sometimes the things that we do in private can affect our professional life. So some things you just don't do. Instead of being home and just living off the system, you know, they do want to work. Some major employers like Auto Nation, which does business in Tampa Bay, publicly acknowledge they stopped testing for pot a year ago when the labor market got tighter. I mean, obviously, you're going to have to select people that are going to test positive because so many people in this country are already using it. Another solution, of course, is to put down the pot, which is what Shandora Davis's cousin eventually did and got the job. He stopped. It's like it's either you want to get high or either you want to work and support your family. I wear the work and support my family. That's more important. Priorities, responsibilities. In Tampa, Eric Glasser, 10 News. Labor Secretary Alexander Acosta recently suggested employers reconsider testing for marijuana. He said there are plenty of Americans still looking for work and questioned whether current drug testing policies are right for that workforce. And here's another sign that cities across the country are changing their tunes about marijuana. Prosecutors in Seattle are considering throwing out hundreds of convictions against people carrying small amounts of the drug. A judge is reviewing the convictions for 542 people who got in trouble before 2010. Seattle's mayor says it's, quote, a necessary step to correct the injustices of what was a failed war on drugs, which disproportionately <clears throat> affected communities of color.